First of this evening, a primetime news special report looking at the dangers some Jamaicans could face if there's a big fire in a high-rise building, particularly in one of the country's poorer communities in Kingston. Some of these buildings are several stories high but have no fire extinguishers, no clear evacuation plan and no one to get it done. The issue has been firmly in the spotlight since the tragic Grenfell Tower fire in London, England, in June this year, in which almost 80 people died. TVJ Shamela Mitchell visited several locations in Kingston and St. Andrew to assess safety procedures. So massive and terrifying was the Grenfell Tower fire that desperate residents were seen throwing themselves from the several stores high structure as they tried to escape being burnt alive. About 80 people died while several others injured. And since then, concern has centered on whether property safety measures were in place. What if something similar happened in Jamaica? What would Jamaicans do? How prepared are we? We visited two high-rise buildings in Tivoli Gardens and Caribbean Palms in Kingston, where over 100 men, women and children live. One way in and one way out. There is no escape and nothing in place to put out the blaze. We don't want to hose that if any fire, and nothing like that, extinction, nothing like that we don't want the building. On the bottom floor of the grill, the rest of the one to go right up to the top, is no, no grill at all. So if they have a little bit of chance, then we don't see it. But if I catch we don't, we can't come over. But how long would it take for someone to get out of one of these buildings? We carried out an experiment. It's a four-story building and it takes approximately 21 seconds for me to get from the top floor to the bottom floor to escape, should in case there's a fire. That's how long it takes when the area is cleared. But in a blaze, people might be in a panic. And it could be a big fast-moving blaze, especially if items like furniture are on fire. One resident pointed to this block in Tivoli Gardens where a woman burned to death before help could reach her. A lady named Doreen, she get um she ended up dying in her house. It was um in the middle of the night, so most of people were sleeping at the time. And she had the smoke. Through the smoke and we go up here, we could get the door to burst out. So the smoke collaborated in there like you know, like no no breathing space in there. So by the time she called, end up kick off the door, get some of the window them out. So she'll be in spirit, but we're reaching there, she already burned. You know, we have children live in the building, so when we want to know that when we have a fire, we can know where to go, where to run, what to do fastly, that it don't spread and affect the, the children or us. I always tell them, I'm the outside, I'm on the bed and say, what's the fire? What me the door? What me the come out of me so far? They tried to carve out an escape route. Maybe we have to go lick out the window or something to escape. My idea was, to throw down a mattress and jump on the mattress. Part of the problem may be that there is no structure in place, no one running the building. In contrast, over at Oakland's apartment on Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew, property manager Marcus Nash says they have a plan. If there's a fire, we have equipped on the apartment building, we have fire hoses and all doors, and they do work. We have the, our fire personnel coming in, servicing them, we also have fire extinguishers that we have on, each, on every other floor. And at the back of the buildings, we have fire holes and we have fire hydrants. Fire drills are also done at least every six months. Meanwhile, residents at Caribbean Palm say they have had meetings, but fire safety was never on the agenda. However, in Tivoli Gardens, they say they have never had a meeting to discuss the problem. Shamela Mitchell, TVJ News.